Hi guys, it's Ludwig and this is SQL Bootcamp Online, the two-minute SQL series when I'm addressing the most common questions regarding SQL Server and Azure. So without further ado, today's question is how to save query results to a text file. Now I have answered already the, the question of how to save your query results to a CSV file, so the comma separated values file using both SSMS and the BCP method. but both of these, they do generate, well, as the name suggests, the CSV file. And the CSV file is quite hard to comprehend by the human eye. Of course, it's extremely easy to digest by any other system. This is the extremely common data type that you can use pretty much. If, if there is a system that can export something or import something, there is a very huge chance that they also can uh, work with the CSV files. Now, the question is whether you can export those results outside of SSMS, for example, using the plain text values that will be very easy to read, very easy to see and consume by the human being. So let me show you how to do that exactly. So let me just jump straight to my desktop in here. I'll just close all of the windows that I have from the previous demo that I recorded for you. If you haven't seen those, just make sure that you subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel and look for the videos that you have in there. But I do have this table called human resources employee in here. Now I'll just say, hey, I want to select 1,000 top uh, top 1,000 rows from that table. It's only 900 and 219 here. But again, I do see all of my results on a grid in here on the uh, down on the bottom pane. But what I can do is I can just right click this. Uh, what I can do is I can right click this um, result pane. I can say, hey, I want to save the results, but not as a comma del delimited uh, uh, file, but as the tab delimited file. And if I'll save that on my desktop and I'll call it tab results.txt, I'll hit save. I want to show you how a file like that looks like. So I'll just go to my desktop. I have my tab results and boom, you can see that this is way easier to read, right? But again, since these are tabs, depending on the number of, um, of um, characters that you have in a particular row, they can be quite out of order, right? So let me fix that real quick. What you want to do is instead of generating those results first and only afterwards saving them to a, a tab delimited file, what you can do is you can go here in the right uh, in the right hand side of the um, query pane in here so you can what you can do is you can say hey I don't want to say see those results in a grid after I'll execute my query what I want to do is I want to have those results uh, displayed as a text so that's what I'll change you can see that nothing changed in here because this is a setting on of how SSMS will produce your results. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to execute my query again, boom, and look what happens. Right now I have a very easy to read, very easy to comprehend, very clean result set of everything that I have in here. And there is no, there are no tabs involved, so there won't be any kind of those misalignments as we've seen a moment ago when I just saved those results using the uh, tab delimited file method. But again, this is what SSMS will generate. I only see that on my within my SSMS environment. What I can do is I can use the third option in here and just go to this last part which says result to results to file. Again, nothing changed, but right now if I'll hit execute, I'll be asked by SSMS, hey, where do you want to have this file saved? Again, I'll just point to my desktop and I'll say that this is my final result. Boom. I'll hit save. It will save it as a report file, so RPT file, but it doesn't matter at all because all it takes is to open this file with Notepad and ta Again, I have a beautiful file with all of the columns, all of the rows, all of the information with no misalignments whatsoever, all right? Now, again, those features that we just covered in here in this very short video, they do answer the question of how to save your query results to a text file using the SSMS method, the SQL Server Management 
a studio method. The question that you may be asking yourself is how do I do that? How do I achieve the very same goal without GUI, without having access to SSMS if you're, for example, working from the command line? Since this is a two-minute SQL series and we are way past the two-minute mark already. Let me just uh, end this video, start another one. You go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel and YouTube algorithm should suggest you the very next one that will answer the question of how to save your query results to a text file without SSMS. I'm Ludwig, this is SQL Bootcamp Online and I will see you on the other side.